Hello. We've reached the end of the semester, and I wanted to make this brief video presentation as we part ways to say a few things to you um, that I think will be useful as you continue, and also that, you know, I feel. And the first thing I would like to say is congratulations. You've made it through English 100. Not everyone can say that, so if you want to, feel free to take a minute to feel proud of yourself. You've earned it. And now I would like to also say thank you. First, I would like to thank you for your effort and your participation. This is not the easiest class in the world. In fact, for many students, it's very hard. So the work that you have done means quite a bit. That you have continued to do this work and continued to participate is the other thing that I would like to thank you for. I would like to thank you for your persistence. Not every student gets all the way through to the end of the class. So, you can think of yourself as special, if you'd like to. Um, that goes along with being proud of yourself, I guess. Next, I would like to talk about the final deadline for this class. As you probably noticed, I'm pretty lax on deadlines, really. But, I work for a large bureaucratic institution, and large bureaucratic institutions don't really have that kind of flexibility. For that reason, I need to ask that you turn in anything you want to turn into me no later than the end of Wednesday, May 29th. That is next Wednesday. I cannot grade anything I receive after that time because the school wants grades from me, and so I have to, uh, you know, fulfill my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, obligation. So I appreciate your cooperation in that way. Once again, Wednesday, May 29th, will be the final deadline for anything I can receive. Now let's think a little bit about what happens next. What will you do after you uh, finish English 100? I have some suggestions. Because I'm in the English department, it is very much in my in interest to um, encourage you to continue taking classes in my department. So let me suggest English 102, which is critical thinking. That will help you with your uh, AA degree, with your transfer, and also will expose you to more of the kind of thinking you've done in this class, give you a chance to use that Logos a little bit more. We also have English 135, that is business writing. That will probably attract a number of you who want to uh, go on to do business. Uh, in that class, you'll learn the ways that business writers communicate with each other. You'll learn a kind of writing a little bit different from what you learned here, but similar enough that um, we think that what you learned here will be of use to you in that class. And finally, we have English 140, which is appreciation of literature. I'm going to be teaching that class in the summer, so feel free to register and uh, be part of that class if you're interested. And we have, of course, other teachers in the department who are just as good as I am. I know, it's hard to believe. And so, um, if you'd like to learn more about uh, the kind of reading we've done here, and how to apply that to works of literature, such as short stories, or plays, or poems, take English 140. And with that all said, I would like to sincerely and wholeheartedly say thank you for your time and attention.